with boy and children. Today we are going to complete our second lesson, bits work. Summative and formative assessment of second lesson. Okay, then? Yesterday on Saturday we have completed our second lesson, uh, major physical features, major physical features of the earth we completed, our second lesson. Already I have given these bits in the textbook. Uh, already I have written on the board while I am explaining the lesson. What is this? Name the five oceans of the earth. The 70% 70 7, the 71 percentage of water has been divided into five oceans. Five big oceans. Five big oceans. Those are the 71 percentage of water it is also called this is the second lesson major physical features this is the bits these bits are from the second lesson the 17th of first page number Page number 12. Page number 12. The 71 percentage of water has been divided into five oceans. One is Pacific Ocean. Copy down in your books one. Pacific Ocean. Today we have to complete this second lesson all the bits. Okay, children? Okay. Pacific Ocean and the earth has been divided into uh, the earth consists of land and water. The percentage of water on the earth is 71 percentage. Those 70 per 71 percentage of water has on the form, uh, form of oceans, seas, rivers, lakes and as well as ponds also. And the 71 percentage of water has been divided into Pacific uh, 5 oceans. Those are Pacific Ocean, Copy down in your bookmark. Indian Ocean. If your if textbooks are not there with you, you can copy in your rough notes or any separate book. Okay now? Third one. Arctic Ocean. And fourth one. Atlantic Ocean. And the fifth one is Antarctic Ocean. The 71 percentage of water has been divided into five oceans Pacific Ocean, Indian Ocean, Arctic Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, and Antarctic. Among these five, Pacific is the largest ocean. And the, seven, the remaining 29 percentage of land. Has been divided into seven continents. One is Asia, Africa, Europe, North America, South America. Australia and Antarctica. Antarctica. Okay, children. These uh, seventy-one percentage of water has been divided into five oceans, and the remaining twenty-nine percentage of land has been divided into seven continents: Asia, Africa, Europe, North America, South America, Australia. Among the seven continents, Asia is the largest continent. Largest continent is Asia and the smallest continent is Australia. This is the largest one. Largest and the smallest continent. Okay children? Okay. And then Activity 1. Activity one also. A 
at the back of this lesson activity 1 page number 13 page number 13 here it is activity has given it is uh, what is they are given? they are asking the name the hill station in Himalayan mountains also give the details it is a homework for you it is a homework homework page number 13 activity 1 it is I am giving it is a name it is an institution it is located in Shimla you can get the remaining details and whatever they are in the textbook in the lesson of uh, second in the lesson second lesson major physical features you can find the information what is that can you give some examples of ancient mountains ancient mountains you should write the two uh, names of the ancient mountains and uh, write the information about gather the information it is homework for you homework for you about Shimla what is that Height, height of the Shimla, height above the sea level and the, what is the population of Shimla and important attractions. Important attractions you should write. Okay children? Okay. And page number 14. Name to trees that grow only in mountains. You should find. I will give you two, two days. If you are not able to write, I will give you the answers to you. And the name to plateaus. Other explained. Uh, write the two names of the plateaus which are not there in the textbook. Which are not given in this lesson. You should write the remaining names of the plateaus too. Where it is located also. Right, okay now? Uh, and uh, page number 17. Activity 2. It is what is here? Find out the names of the countries where the following deserts are located. Here they are given some names of the deserts. Libyan desert, Libyan desert, where it is located, and Gobi desert, and Syrian desert, Thar desert. You should find. It. Okay, okay. I have given activity one now. Now I will give you the information about the activity two. Libyan desert. It is located in Libya. Activity 2. First answer, Libya. Libyan, Libyan desert is located in the Libya. And Gobi desert. Second one is Gobi desert. It is in Mongolia. Mongolia. Gobi desert is located in Mongolia. And third one is Syrian desert. It is Syria. <coughs> it is in Syria. Syria desert. It is in Syria. And fourth was Thar desert. Thar desert is, it is in India. It is in India. Libyan desert. Libya, Gobi Desert, Mongolia, Syrian Desert, Syria, Thar Desert, it is in India. Okay, children, let us go through the summative and formative assessment. Summative and formative assessment. Tick the correct option. First one is the tick the correct option. Here it is, page number 17. An example of the young mountain range. What is that? The Himalayan mountain range. It is a young, young mountain range. Himalayan. According to the most geographers, a hill that is over above, over, above the sea level qualify a mountain. Uh, what is that? 3500 kilometers feet. Turn the page 
and which land forms are called as table lands we call the some uh, so many land forms are there we learn this lesson mountains plateaus plains river valleys deserts okay na which is called as a table land it is a high land than the low land just like a flat land just like a table land what is that plateau what is that play our option is plains or deserts or plateaus or mountains it is a plateau answer is plateau third one is plateau okay and the first one ever is the himalayas pick the correct option pick the correct correct option page number 17 page number first one is the himalaya second one is above the 2000 feet more than 2000 feet it is called a mountain and which land forms are called a table land it is a plateau and which of the which of these plateaus is called the roof of the world what is that tibetan plateau tibetan plateau has been covered uh, rounded by the mountains it means it is a place and covered just like a trees it means it is called a roof of the world tibetan plateau tibetan plateau tibetan plateau it is called a tibetan plateau is called a roof of the world roof of the world why because it is the highest in the world is ringed by mountains a piece of land surrounded by water it is called a island a piece of land surrounded a tibetan plateau has surrounded by rounded by mountains it means it is called just like a roof of the world which plateau as uh, options are deccan plateau no tibetan plateau chota nagpur plateau and all of these tibetan plateau is called as a roof of the world and uh, second bit as of the following questions what is the composition of earth's surface and name the different types of land forms if you are able, if you are having textbooks you are able to write these answers and what are the benefits of the himalayas why are plains densely populated because it is a suitable for living plain living human being why because plenty of water and this land these lands are level plain lands what kind of lands are desert it covered with full of sand and what stages does river go through for, from its origin to the mouth there are three stages upper 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 course middle or major course and lower course fill in the blanks see bit page number 18 number mountains on the earth vary in different and varied the mountain range and as the mountain range and as where it is in south america and as in south america mountains are the sea bit and so let us see bit jewelry stage number 18 sea bit first one mountains are on the earth very shape and size it is different in shape and size also the mountains are same not same height same shape it is a different in the shapes and heights shapes and height are sizes shapes and height shapes and height the mountain andes are in south america South America and a plateau is also called a table land. A plateau is also called a table 
एबल लैंड मोस्ट प्लेस हैव बीन फॉर्म्ड बाय द एक्शन ऑफ एक्शन ऑफ रिवर्स प्लेस हैव बीन फॉर्म्ड बाय द एक्शन ऑफ रिवर्स रेन वाटर और मेल्टिंग स्नो फ्लोस डाउन फ्रॉम द माउंटेन्स इन द फॉर्म ऑफ इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ग्लेशियर्स and before flowing into the sea a river divides itself into many channels to form a transient land when the river are the river going to meet in the sea it will form the different channels as well in the form of delta delta transient land once again i repeat this uh, fill in the blanks okay mountains on the earth mountains on the earth vary in shape and heights also the mountain range andes are in south america plateau is also called a table land most plains have been formed by the action of rivers rain water in melting snow rain water or melting snow flows down from the mountains in the form of rivers or glaciers rivers also it is rivers also it is also rivers in the form of rivers no it is in streams it is streams of chinna chinna pilla kalalu kada paatu untayi melting snow just it is stream chinna chinna pilla kalalu kada paatu untayi rain water or melting snow flows down from the mountains in the form of streams The glaciers are the breaking down of ice from the Himalayan mountains. This rainwater or melting snow, in it is flowing as a form of stream. Before sixth one, before flowing into the sea, a river divides itself into many channels to form a delta. And deep it is. It is define the following. Define the Following terms. What is the desert? Here it is. Desert is waterless, often sandy and a desolate area of land with little or no vegetation. Deserts are very. Deserts are waterless, often sandy and a desolate area. Shall I write here? Okay, just you can copy debate page number eighteen. First one, desert. Deserts are desert is a waterless open or sandy area. Often sandy area of land with a little or no vegetation. Little or no vegetation. It is a definition of a desert. And the second one is. Plain. What is plain? Plains. A plain is a piece of land. A plain is a piece of land piece of level land what is a plain ma a plain is a piece of level land okay and one more is plateau third one plateau
Lettuce or high plains, corn, or highlands. Lesson of second lesson major physical features. What are the 
major physical features, what we call the physical features and entity, whatever we are looking, we are seeing on the earth, on the land. Okay? Uh, uh, whatever we are, we are seeing on the earth, those all are called the physical features of the earth. What we are seeing? Forest, mountains, rivers, plains, deserts, river valleys. Okay? Mountains, plains, plateaus, river valleys, deserts and so many forests also we can find. These all are called the physical features of the earth. In the second lesson, we learn about the physical features, about mountains, plateaus, plains, desert, river valleys, river second, upper, middle, or map, lower coast. Economy start out to the Mali, economic meet out to the Madalo, Maraka end out to the. These are the three stages of rivers while they are flowing. And what are the mountains? And how the life in the mountains we learn and how the plains are there. Okay, na? And the plateaus and the river valleys. In this lesson, we learn all the bits also we are learning, we are get from this lesson. Okay, whatever I have, I have given to you as a homework, and you should find from your elders or any books or net also you can get the information and if you have a textbook so with you, it is easy to write and write and understood the lesson. Easy. Okay, children? You can buy the textbooks for uh, getting lot of information from the textbook. Okay? Once again, I repeat, the earth consists of land and water. The percentage of water on the earth is 71 percentage. The water has been divided into five ego shares. Pacific Ocean, Indian Ocean, Arctic Ocean, Atlantic Ocean and Antarctic. Among these five oceans, Pacific is the uh, largest ocean. And this Atlantic and percentage of land has been divided into seven continents. Asia, Africa, Europe, North America, South America, Australia and Antarctic. Asia, Africa, Europe, North America, South America, Australia and Antarctica. Among these seven continents, Asia is the largest continent and Australia is the very smallest continent. Okay, na? Uh, why again and again I am repeating your, somebody have not have any textbooks. If you have a little bit of a little bit of you are able to remember all the these uh, five oceans and it is a very important the names of the oceans and the continents. If you have textbooks in the school, again and again I am repeating. Why I am repeating this much of times? You can freeze in your mind. Okay now. Uh, five oceans and seven continents. What are the five oceans? Pacific Ocean, Indian Ocean, Arctic Ocean, Atlantic Ocean and Antarctic Ocean. What are the seven continents? Asia, Africa, Europe, North America, South America, Australia and Antarctica. You should copy all those things. I need you five minutes to your children. Okay now. Continent, uh, oceans and continents. It is from the second lesson. Tomorrow we are going to this third lesson. Today, we are completed the second lesson bits now. Okay, whatever you are uh, able to see on the board, you should copy. These definitions you must copy and these are the bits. Okay, now, these are the second activity and I have given activity 1. At least you should complete. Okay, now, activity 1 from the page number 13. Uh, and these are the bit, bits. Tick the right option. You may ask to go to the thank you. Give it and like And then fill in the blanks. Shapes and height. South America, table land, strings, delta. Okay, I'll give you uh, some time to copy this one. Okay, children?